Hello and welcome to GCSE Computer Science Paper 2 Introduction, Overview and Purpose. Something that I've not mentioned in the titles but it is relevant is um, the issue of resources. So this first video is going to be very technical and um, there would be no problem whatsoever if you were to skip this video and get straight to the questions. But the reason why I'm doing this first introductory video is to give you an overview of how you can enhance your learning, how you can access resources that are freely available to everyone, and the purpose behind this set of videos. So the first thing is, you can go to the GCSE Edexcel Computer Science Specification. Um, the I'll give you the screenshot and I'll give you the a link downstairs in the down down below in the comments. And the certification is from 2016, but it was first um, uh, examined for in 2018. But the latest specification is also available, and that was the one for 2020. And um, I'll go over exactly what that involves in this set of videos. But the things that are available to you, if we look at the screenshot here, are when you turn up to this exam, you will have a computer workstation. It will be in silent conditions, and you will have software on that workstation that allows you to uh, edit code. So this is known as an IDE, an inter interactive development um, environment, and it will have line numbers so you can refer to specific lines of code. Another thing that you'll have is you'll have a folder, and this will have student code, and if you look at the assessment material, this is heavily uh, commented so it will tell you it's very clear as to what they want you to do and how they want you to do it and another useful thing that they have in fact something that's quite underestimated is the PLS which is the programming language subset uh, there isn't a programmer alive that does not refer to a reference book and sometimes these books are many thousands of pages long and three four inches thick in some instances so people that code don't have any everything um, at their fingertips. They don't know every single thing, every single line of code, every single function, every module, every library. They don't know that. But they do know where they can find those libraries, those modules, those functions, that code that already exists. So this is why the PLS is very important when you sit this exam. Um, now I want to go through the reason why I'm doing this. I'm doing this so you will know when you sit this exam exactly what will be in front of you and how you'd go about solving uh, the questions that are asked of you. And I'll be using the PLS and I'll be using um, a particular IDE that is available for everyone. In fact, I'll give you two options of IDEs that you can choose. And I'll e even use a Python visualization uh, web page called the Python Tutor. Again, this stuff is all technical, and as I said, you can skip through this section, but um, the more you want to understand and the more you want to uh, absorb this information and this material, the more you should focus upon these resources that I'm about to go through. So the first thing is, um, after the specification, you have a beginner level Python basics, and I've given two examples. One's from John Phillips Jones, and the other one is from Derek Banas. These are excellent beginner resources to look at. So if there's a term that I use that you don't understand, if I use the word like turtle or IDE or time module or uh, tuple or array, uh, instead of me explaining what those things are, you should go to someone like John Phillips Jones or Derek Banas who explains it very clearly. Um, so all we're interested in doing here, the purpose behind this set of videos, is simply just to get you uh, to be able to sit the exam, know what's expected of you, and be able to answer the questions using the PLS. Remember, the programming language subset. Um, so there are two uh, IDEs that I've given. The one that I'm using uh, is the uh, is available on screen now. It's called OnlinePython.com, and another one is called OnlineGDB, and the third one is Python Tutor, which is um, down below. Uh, that's uh, resource number nine. You can use as many as you want, but I prefer the uh, the third one given. Uh, I found it to be quite stable. Um, the other ones are also stable, but 
each each IDE gives you different features, give you gives, it gives you different um, approaches of how to do your coding, and it's an individual thing. So whichever you find is preferable for you, you can use. At the bottom of the comments, I've also put the code and the code I've put it at the bottom and I've taken out all the comments and the reason why I've done that is it's very easy for you to copy and paste the code into one of the IDEs I've given and then you can literally play with the code yourself so uh, there's it's a lot less confusing it's a lot less lines of code uh, and it's the completed version of the answer but as I said we need to go to um, from the stage of the incomplete answer which is the, the ones that you'll be given to get to the completed answer using the PLS. Uh, the next thing to go over is I've given links to intermediate and advanced level resources. And the reason for this is um, uh, there is a lot of code. In fact, there's millions of lines of code that's been written and there will be millions of lines of co code written uh, on top of these other lines because code is always evolving and developing. So if you want to understand what's going on on a day-to-day uh, -day basis um, these are the sort of websites you should be looking at to see what the cutting edge is for code for GCSE you won't need to know any of this stuff but if you want to become a coder this is the sort of stuff that you should know I've also given a link to the official Python website uh, I've also given a link to free PDFs many free PDFs that are available if you want to download and if, if you like reading about coding and then I've also given a link to the Free Code Camp, which is a YouTube channel as well as a website. And this has many uh, excellent resources for mathematical and uh, programming concepts. So that's the specification. That's the IDEs. That's an explanation of what the uh, PLS is. And that's um, a link to two beginner level channels that you can look at. Um, and that is the reason why we're doing this. We're doing this so you can go from being presented with a problem at a computer console and then using the PLS being able to solve that problem and trying the code out for yourself. Uh, these videos will be less than 10 minutes long each because um, I find that if a video goes over 10 minutes usually it's quite um, laborious to listen for that period of time so the videos will be quite short They'll give, I'll give you the answer, the answer will be given in the first couple of minutes and then the remainder of the video will be explaining how we derive the answer and also uh, explaining certain concepts that are essential. But I won't use language that is outside of the specification, the Edexcel specification. And if I do use a term like tuple, array, turtle, uh, time module, uh, then it's something that you really need to be uh, aware of. I won't use terms that you do not need to be aware of. Stay tuned for the next part.